There we go. Okay, so what are we going to learn? Anything? Let's see. Sound seems to be important for this type of game. It's too bad our sound sucks. A little more research, please. Let's research those tutorials. Oh, come on. Stop scratching your head. Look at that. The progress just stops when she scratches her head. I'm going to hit her with a baguette the next time she does that. That's just bullshit. Don't waste my time, baguette. All right, now we can't we can't use game tutorials just yet. We have to make a new game engine before we can use it. Uh, we're going to hold off on that until we have 2DV3 available. All right, so let's make a new game. We just finished up an airplane game. Did we do fantasy yet? Yeah, we did fantasy RPG. Uh, what are we done? Let's check out our game history before we move on. Game history. We did dun, 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 Derpier Than Light, a space strategy game, and then we did a fantasy RPG. Then we did comedy adventure. And then we did airplane simulation. Why don't we do a zombie game? Zombies! Zombie. Oh, we can do a zombie casual game. There you go. Let's do a zombie casual game on the TES. Or a zombie action game on the TES. Is TES good for action? No, it's good for casual. Well, zombies work for casual, so let's get the casual going. Zombies! You want zombie pong? Holy crap. Zombie pong? I don't know if that's going to be a good idea. Topic. Zombie. Genre. Uh, oh, that's right. We can't do casual yet. My bad. My, we still can't do casual yet. We got to wait for that to unlock. Shit. And that's the thing. It's like we haven't, we have not unlocked casual yet. And the TES, the only thing it's good for is casual. You might as well not make games for it because the only thing that's good for is casual. Screw that. Let's stick to the, the G64 and the PC. All right, so if we're not doing a zombie game, then what the hell are we going to do? Another space? Let's do another space game. So space is good with... Bum, bum, bum. Space is good with action. We did, a, we did a space strategy game. Let's do a space action game. Space action on the G64. Baguette Square 2. There we go. We need a name for a space action game. Let me get over to Twitch chat. They're still coming up with zombie names because they're two minutes behind the stream. Or the stream is two minutes behind what I'm what I'm at. Pong for achievement. Space Pong. Floating white stuff. Square Square Wars. Star whores. <laughs> Space bears. Total free ball. What? These names. These names. <laughs> big black holes. <laughs> Cat planet. Let's go for big black holes. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, man. All right, let's go. Let's do big black holes. Yeah. 2DV2, of course, we need to we need to keep doing uh, games with the 2DV2 graphics so that we can get 2DV3 unlocked. Look at that, we made $200,000 on flying buckets. Okay, here we go. So we need max, max, min. Throw that in. Come on, Baguette, do your work. And yeah, if we check the game history, it'll show us how much profit we made on all these games. So you can see, 200,000 was how much that we turned that we came, that we brought in total. Uh, but the profit was only 128,000 because it cost us 74k to make it. Uh, Booze Brothers, we made 63k. Penultimate Paranoia made 109k, and DTL, the first game, made 119. So we did pretty good on DTL. But Flying Buckets is our most successful game so far. Good times. All right, min, max, max. There we go. Keep going. Negative, negative, positive, positive, positive. Yeah, yeah. Good times. No more bugs, okay? No more bugs. We got a deal, Baguette? We got a deal. No more bugs. All right, negative, positive, positive. Sounds good. Let's go. Stop scratching. Oh, my God. You really should be able to use your mouse just to slap these characters when they scratch their head like that. That should be part of the interactive experience, right? I'm the boss. She just works for me. This baguette works for me, and I want to slap her with the dustbin right now. Come on. No more bugs. No more bugs. All right, good. No bugs. Good times. 
fix the bugs. Two, two, one. There you go. All right, we got records. We got records on design and tech. Oh, this is going to be a good game. I can tell right now. Big Black Holes is going to be huge for us. Let's do it. And where's that game report? Come on, game report. Oh, here's the reviews. Come on, tens. <gasps> Eight, okay, I like eights. Eights are good. Nine, holy shit, action game on the G64. Eights, all right. Told you it's gonna be our best game, look at that. Oh man, when you, when you get new records on design and tech, uh, you're in a good spot. Nice. Good times. Now get that game report going. Yeah. 8.5, our best game yet. Uh, recently released TES console by Ninvento has proven to be a massive success. The weird thing is, this game console, if we check out the guide, or not the guide, but the wiki, this game console is only good with casual games. It's not good with strategy, it's not good with adventure, and it's just eh with action, RPG, and simulation games. So the only thing it's good for is casual, and casual games don't exist yet. There's, you can't use the game, whatever. I love games that come with the GES, with the TES. No, you don't, you're lying to me. Everyone who says they love games for the TES is lying. They don't make casual games yet. They don't exist. All right, our post-release analysis, Big Black Holes is complete. Sound is important, of course it is. All right, Baguette, let's, got, let's get some more stuff for you to do. Can we research anything and get a new topic? Uh, we probably do want to get... We want to get all this stuff, really. Let's see. Fashion, hacking, and life. Uh, do I want to spend any research on it right now? Maybe not. Um, we don't really want fashion yet. What's fashion going to be good for? Is it just casual? Is there anything else that fashion can do for us? Oh, it's actually good for RPG and simulation. All right, well, fashion it is. Fashion it is. Do it. Didn't realize it was good for RPG and simulation. I thought it was just casual. Oh, look at that. Big Black Holes is a surprise hit with players. Developer of Paid Early Access Co. is fairly new to the gaming industry, but we cannot wait for what they will develop next. Oh, goody. Yes, I can't wait either. If she will stop scratching her fucking head, let me slap this. Back to work, Baguette. Or I'll take your DeLorean away. I just want to pick up this wrench. Smack her in the face. Break up the lamp. And shove it in her eyes. Just stop scratching your head, please. Ah, research fashion. Good. More research. More research. More research. Let's. Oh, Wild West. Nice. Good for everybody. Good for mature. Let's research uh, life games. Excellent. Make a game called Pong. I made two hundred seventy-two thousand dollars off Big Black Holes. Nice. Stop scratching your head. Yeah, Zelda was big on the SNES. It's definitely not a casual game. All right, there we go. So now we can do uh, target audiences. Some categories will become more popular with younger gamers, and others cater more more mature. Yep. So target audience. We'll have to do that soon. We can't do it yet because we don't have enough research points. That's okay. All right, you want to make a fashion game? Let's make a fashion girl. Fashion game. All right, fashion is good for RPG or simulation, and both of those are pretty good on the PC and the G64. Let's do a uh, fashion simulation game. Fashion simulation. What the hell would that even be? A fashion simulation game. I'm scratching my head as to what a fashion simulation game is. Someone tell me what is a fashion simulation game? Fashion for teen, fashion for girl teens. Okay, Shen is like overworking boss. Damn right I am. Zelda is fucking sexy. Okay, is that what you want? Zelda, uh, Zelda, uh, uh, sex in the past instead of a link to the past. That sounds terrible. Um, hmm. Uh, what do you want to call it? Um, Zelda, a lay in the past. Bingo. There we go. We got it. No, wait. No, that's that's not nothing to do with fashion. Holy shit, that has nothing to do with fashion. I'm going to do... Uh, oh, I know. Oh, go, go, go back. No, no, no. Go back. What? Why can't I go back? 
Hello? Why can I not go back? Alright, hold on. Let's just make a new game. That was weird. Uh, fashion. Simulation. Platform. We're gonna put on the PC this time, because it's better for simulation. We're gonna call it, uh, Dress Up Zelda. Fast and Fabulous? <laughs> Good to pass up. Zelda, a link to his pants. <laughs> Fast and fabulous. I like that with an exclamation point. That is, that is too good to pass up. 2DV2. Holy shit. I, that, was, that was good. <laughs> All right. So did we have this? Did we have this organized? I'm sure someone had this. No? No one's done this yet? Oh, there we go. Thank you. So it's max, max, medium. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, oh, here we go. Okay, following the massive success of the TES console, there are now rumors of circulating that Vina, another Japanese company, is planning to release a home console of their own. Indeed. It's supposed to be Sega. Then it's going to be min, max, max. Okay, min, max, max. Yep, negative, negative, positive, 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 positive. Yep. Looking good. Better not scratch your head baguette. Don't scratch your head baguette. And then it's gonna be medium max max. All right, negative, positive, yep, there you go. Fashion simulation is go. All right, come on, get the bugs out. Two, three, come on, four, bingo, done. All right, new record on design, and we are starting to get our 2D graphics leveled up. We need one more level before we can research 2D V3, and we also need, I think, 50 research points, maybe 60, maybe 80. I don't remember how many we need, but we need some research points as well. So can we get target audience? Yes, we can, and we definitely want this because some of the categories work really well for like mature or uh, young audiences, and if you target the games that way, you can wind up with uh, more sales. Here comes the Vina, the Master V. Nice. Okay, here come the reviews for Fast and Fabulous. That is a seven. Okay, sounds good to me. There's another seven. And a seven. Seven's all around? Yep, seven's all around. All right, I can handle that. Seven's all around. Ooh. That's selling okay. Yeah, four and a half thousand first week. Eight thousand. Yeah, selling okay. All right, target audience has research. That means for all the games from now on, uh, we can actually target whether to do it for everyone, which is very middle ground. For mature audiences, which is obviously going to have more bloodshed, sex themes, bad language. And then the young audience, which maybe would have like uh, learning games or just games without serious uh, topics. Fashion simulation is a good combination. The engine's quite important to this type of game. Great. All right, and we could do a little more research. Let's see, hunting games. Business games, let's get a hunting game. Get that going. All right, hunting has researched, and so we need a new game. Uh, what have we done lately? Let's take a look at our last few games. We did Flying Buckets, which is an airplane simulation, Big Black Holes, a space action game, and then a fashion simulation game. So let's stick, let's stay away from action and simulation. Let's do something else. So what is available other than uh, action and simulation? Let's see, what about a life game? What's good for life? Life is is life is adventure we can do a life adventure game and we can target it for young audiences or for everybody excellent let's do that a life adventure game it's the game of life uh we'll throw it at is it the pc or the g64 it's not very good on the tes unfortunately in fact adventure gets a negative negative on the tes so we'll throw it at the uh, pc 
Okay, on the baguette square two, and we need a name for our uh, life adventure game. The Bush of Life. Being Charlie Sheen winning. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I could, I, or, or just being John Malkovich, Malkovich, Malkovich. Uh, so being, uh, being Charlie Sheen. Perfect. I like that. Definitely a life of adventure, or at least a life that's very high all the time. All right, let's go. Being Charlie Sheen, life adventure on the PC on the Baguette Mark II engine. Two and a half Sheens. <laughs> Oh, goodness. All right, so minimum, medium, maximum. You can tell by the double negatives, the, the middle negative, and the all positives. And there is some flexibility in those sliders. You do want to try to squeeze in as many uh, good things that you can. Okay, we made $155,000 on Fast and the Fabulous. Good times. Next is going to be... Next is going to be uh, maximum, medium, minimum, maximum, medium, minimum. You can tell by the double negatives, the one negative, and then this one, it should be a positive according to the wiki. Uh, so something like that. Come on, Baguette, do your work. Do your work, Baguette. And then maximum, maximum, medium. You can tell by the negative, and then these are both positives. World design and graphics are important for adventure games. The sound is important, but not as much. Not nearly as much. All right, and the Master V by Vina has stirred up the market worldwide. Industry experts say the console is not very well marketed in North America, but that it will flourish in other parts of the world. Yeah, I had a, I had a cousin who had one of these, but honestly the only one I ever saw that's what she said anyway only one bug so that's nice get that out what's the predicted score which chat's been trying to guess at what score we're gonna get uh, so far they've been pretty good pretty spot-on all right can we get our game report there we go being Charlie Sheen make it happen come on tens all tens I'm gonna cross my fingers all tens all tens come on tens that is an eight. Not bad, not bad. Come on, 10. That is an eight. All right, we got two eights. We got three eights. All right, looking good, looking good. Four eights in a row, nice. Well, certainly leveled up our game there. Last game was all seven, so here come all the predicted scores. We got a two out of 10. Most people are saying like eight. I, got, I see some sixes, I see a one. Big Taco says a one. Look, Big Taco, every time I see your name, I get hungry. So how about you go get me some goddamn tacos instead of rating my games poorly? Look at Charlie Sheen. Look at him win all over the screen. Look at him winning with that massive green bar of winning. Artificial intelligence is not important. Damn right. All right, so what else can we do here? Uh, we could research some more topics. Some history games would be nice. Um, now, you know what? We'll wait a little bit. Uh, let's make a new game. Let's see. We did unlock hunting. What's hunting good for? Hunting is good for action games. Well, we haven't done an action game in a while, so let's make a hunting action game. Hunting action. Like uh, Deer Hunter or something, right? T-E-S, Master... Oh, Master V. Is the Master V good for action? Tell me it is. It is okay for action, but again, it's primarily like the T-E-S focused on uh, casual as the best uh, target. Uh, so I think we'll skip the Master V, especially since it would also cost us $80,000 just to get a license for it, and it's just not not the best console to make games for. Uh, I think we'll put it on the G60, no, we'll put it on the PC. We'll put it on the PC with the Baguette Square 2. So we need a name for our, our hunting action game. And let's see, are we gonna make it for the young, everyone, or mature? Hunting is best for everyone, so we'll leave it on everyone. Excellent. Drunk Hunter? <laughs> uh, Nazi Hunt? 
Coffee Hunter? Coffee Hunter. Oh, I could see that. Oh my god. Dick Cheney Simulator. <laughs> oh my god. Dick Dick Cheney's, we'll call it Dick Cheney's um, Extreme Hunting. Perfect. Oh god. That that whole incident was hilarious. All right, so what do we need for hunting and action? We need max, max, minimum, positive, 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 negative. Do it. Man, hopefully we'll get some better scores coming in, you know? The latest game by Paid Early Access has received very positive reviews overall. Star, Ga Star Games gave it an 8, saying their focus on story quests are the game very well. If Paid Early Access continues to innovate like this, they might become a new fan favorite. Damn straight they will. Stop scratching your head, goddammit, Baguette. I've warned you about that. It's too bad you can't actually fire your main character. You can fire everyone else that you hire, but you can never fire your main character. And it's just sad. It really is sad. Anyway, all negatives, all positives, do it. It's nice that these hints persist. It means you don't have to check out the wiki every single time. Although I tend to look at the wiki anyway. And right now, there's just people in chat who are looking at the wiki for me, so I don't even have to do it. Which is fantastic! See? Negatives, positives, positives. But you won't always have this. This is only the in-game hints uh, once you've made a lot of games and done game reports. All right, come on. More, more, more bugs. Fix the bugs. We made $261,000 off Charlie Sheen. Nice. And now we can finally research casual games, and we will. Like, right away. Go on, then. Okay, okay, yes. The G64 is not as popular anymore. That's why I'm making games for the PC now. Here we go. New record on technology. And we leveled up our 2D graphics, meaning we can now research 2D V3. We will definitely do that. We can now verge. Oh, 3D V1! 3D? Really? It's a little early for 3D games, but I guess we'll research it anyway. Uh, yeah, research 3D, baby. How much for the 3D? 3D V1. Only, only 15 points for 3D V1. Hmm, nice. Level editor, casual games. I definitely want all this stuff. Give me the 3D V1. Here comes the reviews. All right, what, what does Twitch chat think? What's it going to be? Dick Cheney's Extreme Hunting. Come on, tens. That is not a ten. Really? Five, six. This is terrible. Dick Cheney, I am disappointed. I am disappointed, Dick Cheney. Oh my goodness. Look at these scores. Yes, exactly. Flop. Someone says 11. I don't think it made it to 11. <laughs> it just didn't make it. Oh my goodness. Terrible. Alright. Well, Dick Cheney, no one wants to see your ugly mug, apparently. I mean, we'll still make some money on that. And we're actually getting fans. We made 27 fans from Dick Cheney's ugly ass. Alright, 3DV1 has researched. Get me those casual games. Casual games. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, here we go. So this is an interesting one. The Gameling is coming out soon. The Gameling is, of course, the Game Boy, uh, and it actually is an excellent console. It stays as the number one console uh, in, as far as popularity for a long, long time. Uh, in this game's time period. So it's great to make games for the game lane. It really is. All right, we researched casual games. Let's do a game report on Dick Cheney's Extreme Hunting. Come on, we're gonna get some free research points out of this shit. Give me the research. Two, come on, come on. Three, wow, oh. Got a whole six research out of that shit. Great. Uh, graphics are important for hunting games. Okay, there you go. We only made $161,000 off Dick Cheney's ugly face. God damn it, Dick Cheney. Uh, can we do any more research? Any at all? Level editor, yeah, do it. Then we're gonna make a new engine, damn it, with 
3D graphics. All right. Let's do it. And the gameling is released. Good. We're going to make tons of games for that shit. Create a custom engine. This is going to be the Baguette Cube 1. The Baguette Cube 1. Bingo. 3D V1. We could include 2D graphics, but I'm not going to. Give me those tutorials, level editor, and mono sound. It's the most up-to-date shit in the world. Cost us 140k to make this. We're doing it. Come on, Baguette Cube. Don't you dare fuck with me. No more square baguettes. Now we have cube baguettes. They're even better. Yeah, we're going to have 3D graphics and hookers on our baguettes. It's 2 a.m. in England. Yep. Oh, wow. The Moobot topic is from seven hours ago. <laughs> Stop scratching your head. You're almost done. Finish your work. I have had it up to here, Miss Baguette. We are not turning into EA. Don't be so dramatic. Engine complete. The Baguette Cube 1 is now complete. Excellent. New game time. Well, let's see what the... No, no, no. Not, not research. Let's see what our past couple games have been. Let's see. Okay. The Booze Brothers. We had Comedy Adventure. We had Airplane Simulation. Space Action. Fashion Simulation. Life Adventure and then hunting action. So we've done action, simulation, and uh, adventure lately. Let's do an RPG. How did our first RPG do? It did okay. 7.25 on our first RPG. I'm not sure that's good enough to sequel. We haven't actually researched sequels yet. We can't do it yet. But let's make another RPG. So what categories have we unlocked that are good for an RPG? Okay, now do marketing research. Oh my god, can I afford that? No, I can't. We'll do that later. Let's see. What topics do we have? We have life, space, airplane, comedy, fashion, fantasy. I think we just have to do another fantasy RPG. I can't imagine. Oh, you want to do a casual game? Some zombies? Well, the Gameling, which is out now, is fantastic for casual games. The Gameling is just a boss. It is a boss. Milk the casuals? Okay, fine. We'll milk the casuals. I want to do an RPG. You want to do casuals? Fine. We'll milk the casuals. All right, if we're going to go for a target audience of young, the gameling is perfect for young audiences, then uh, let's find topics that are good for young people. Like, let's see, superheroes, sports, school, rhythm, uh, racing games, pirate games, ninja games, music. I'm going to skip some stuff. Fashion. Fashion casual is perfect for young kids. Dance casual is perfect for young kids. Airplane casual, perfect for young kids. So we already have airplane and fashion. Let's go for those. All right, so which one did we do most recently? Life, fashion. Okay, airplane casual. We need a name for an airplane casual game for the gameling with 3D graphics. Gameling, yes, we're going to pay 50k for a license. It has the most market share by a lot. 14% more than anything else. That's a lot of difference. Wow. Uh, the topic's going to be airplane, casual, game engine, the Baguette Cube 1. And it's going to be for young audiences. Will 3D work on the gameling? Yes, it will. The, the hardware, un, unfortunately in this game, the hardware is not represented as having limitations. The hardware always does exactly what you need it to do. Doesn't mean it'll do it very well. Uh, for instance, if you uh, have a ton of things in your engine that are really good for an RPG game and you try to do a, a, an action game on there and you don't have those elements for action games in your engine, then maybe it won't do too well. But anyway, let's see, ducks on a plane. Waiting for a seat in 3D. <laughs> now boarding. <laughs> oh my god. Toddlers on a plane. Hindenburg 3D. Oh, I like that. I like that. Hindenburg 3D. All right, we're doing it. Uh, Hindenburg. Let's call it Hindenburg. And if we get a sequel, we'll make it Hindenburg 2. 
Let's go. Airplane, casual, gameling, baguette cube, young audiences, 35k to do it. Do it. 3DV1. Yes. Airplane casual. All right. So what do we need for airplane casual? Let me see. Min, max, min. Yeah, casuals are interesting. Where is casual? There we go. Yep, min, max, min. It's negatives, positives, negatives. It's very interesting the way the casuals are done because they focus entirely on one category instead of, you know, balancing some stuff. But anyway, it, we still can fit everything in. We can get our tutorials in now, which is great. Hopefully Baguette will do us proud and make the best game ever. Obviously, the Hindenburg was very popular, right? Everyone played that as a kid. You remember playing the Hindenburg as a kid? Crashing and burning and killing people? That was a fun game. Anyway, minimum, max, minimum. Hindenburg 2 is hilarious on its own. Is it? Why is Hindenburg 2 hilarious? Let's see. Minimum, maximum, maximum, pretty much. So, minimum, maximum. And this one's also a plus plus. And we can now do mono sound. We can actually invest in the sound. Look at that. You like that? You like that? Oh, and Epit, you got it wrong. Look, look, Epit. Look, Epit. You say for casual, you don't need graphics, but you do need graphics, Epit. See? Graphics? Graphics, Epit. Graphics. Look at that. Plus three. Look, even the game tells me to do plus three. Oh, Epit. Anyway, let's go. Why do you want a game called Pong? <laughs> Hindenburg 3 Ghost Zombies? Oh my goodness. See? Grizz knows what I'm talking about. Hindenburg was the best game ever. If you have more than 1 million in cash, you'll be able to move on to the next level, which is where we get uh, a new office, what it means. All right, the Master V is going to be uh, announced. Uh, I'm sorry. Vina is going to announce the Vina gear. So, so the Sega Game Gear, which is full colors instead of black and white. Pong is an Easter egg. I think I've already done that Easter egg. I'm not sure. Um, okay, so we're starting to get a little bit of leveling on our 3D graphics. We need to do more, though. We need a lot more. And we can now do better user experience and open world, which... We'll research anything that we can. Uh, we can research better user experience. Great. Come on, Hindenburg, make me proud. What 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 kind of scores we're we gonna get? We're gonna get someone saying 6.75. What do we see? A six. A six. A eight. Ooh, eight. Game Hero, you are the real MVP. I'm sorry, you the real MVP. Save for marketing. I do want to get marketing, you're right, but.